Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. We are. You know, this past Sunday was PTSD Awareness Day. PTSD stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. PTSD can happen when someone witnesses or experiences a traumatic event. LaShondra and I wanted to take a few moments to talk about this subject today for the veterans that we have cared for. A little history, PTSD Awareness Day began in 2010. Kent Conrad, a senator, fought to have the recognition of PTSD. The recognition came after Sergeant Joe Bill committed suicide. The date, June 27, was selected due to date being his birthday. Sources say more than 70% of people have experienced a traumatic event to cause PTSD or like symptoms of PTSD. However, that does not mean the 70% will suffer by using these statistics more like 224 million Americans have experienced an event. Wow. After hearing that, you said, you know, about the percentages and everything. I think that percentage is going to go up due to um, nursing. The environment that CNAs work in, the things that CNAs have seen with their eyes, the sorrow that they have felt in their hearts during um, this pandemic. PTSD can also go along with uh, burnout as well from being a CNA. If you missed part two of caring for the caregiver with Lisa Sweet and Sheena Bumpus, please make sure to watch it. Um, Sheena touched base on a lot of the good points dealing with that problem with CNAs. Yes. Well, here are just a few symptoms, red flags to watch for. Depression, suicidal feeling, nightmares, varying degrees of irritability, persistent memories. Mm -hmm. There's another reason why um, we wanted to talk about this awareness. The 4th of July, um, most veterans have a hard time with this day and should, um, it, it's a day that should be celebrated actually. However, many start to feel overwhelmed. Um, they may even come withdrawn, not sure what to do or who to talk to. It can be physical plus mental reaction to the fireworks. Right, because like loud noise, lights, and the popping sound as well as the flash from the fireworks could cause flashbacks from wartime. Here is when we say no veteran should be medicated or shamed for having PTSD symptoms or PTSD itself, you know? Right, Cause right. it just happens. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Um, be aware, some have never been diagnosed it is not a behavior that can be charted on and then dismiss. And also remember, there's a lot of veterans that are not placed in veterans' homes as yes. well. They may be in your facility, um, home health, your hospice, and all of those as well. So listen to your residents. Uh, watch how they respond to you when asking about the 4th of July celebration. Are they excited, happy, sad? Do they seem a little worried? Maybe even asking more questions than normal. Right, yes. And here are some ideas that Corinne and I have tried and have had success with. Also signs to watch for. Here are the signs. The most important one, listen to your residents, mm -hmm. clients and patients leading up to the day of the celebration and a few days after. Right. Watch for mood swings, staying in their rooms, change their eating habits and also their sleeping habits. Yeah. Involve them with other um, activities so they can still celebrate this day. Um, you can also try to supply them with earplugs um, to help drown out the outside noise. Use music or let them watch their favorite TV program while using the earplugs as well. Um, make sure the curtains or the shades are pulled completely together where there's no light or mm -hmm. anything coming in. And also, you can move them away from the area of display. Move them to the center of the building, away from the noise and the mm -hmm. fireworks. Yes. If they are an evening shower, plan their bath time around the firework display, you know? Yeah. That'll be a good thing. Yes. And that could, you know, relax them where yes. they would want to, you know, sleep and everything. And the ninth one we have is know your residents, clients, and patients. You know, you know them better than anyone. Plan ahead. Talk to your charge nurse, activity department, as well as the CNA that are working in activities. 
Um, you can also reach out to the dietary department. See if there'll be a special meal planned um, for the outside. Make arrangements for the meal and special snacks to be brought inside for them where you know, you're not really separating them. You're still allowing them to join in. And the last one is just simple. Think outside the box. Help them. Be there for them. Yes. And if you're working for the July, thank you. Remember, not all veterans live in a veteran's home. Veterans are everywhere in every job, every setting. Keep them safe. Have a safe 4th of July. Come back next week and see Corinne and I on Everyday CNA.